go. New top 10 new games. Okay. Uh, what is it? Wait, what is that? What is that? What was the, okay. Hi, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. I, yeah, I was like, hey, let's check out Thanksgiving games. I, I got to have one of those, right? I've got literally thousands of games. Could not think of or find a single one. I tried to work typing American. I tried typing Thanksgiving. I tried typing Turkey. And in all of my thousands of Steam games, I couldn't think of or find a single one. So we're going to go on Congregate <laughs> and play games that are Thanksgiving oriented. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, this is Thanksgiving Release the Turkey. What the f- I don't know. I just found 300 and second, 300 second and second, second to second. What the fuck is wrong with me? 320 second Release the Turkey. Why is it called that? It is another new point and clicks escape game from top 10 new games. In this game, you came to know that someone trapped turkey and locked inside a room. You need to release the turkey from that room by finding ob useful objects, hints, and uh, solving puzzles. Click on the objects to interact with them and solve puzzles. Okay. Oh, here we go. Yes, go to all of our pages. Can I play the game now? Oh, that's music. Okay. It's like the kind of thing that would play in the background when Weezer is about to rap. <laughs> uh... Oh, oh, the turkey's right here. He's fine. See? There's also bananas. What the fuck? A play sign. The, the tur there's, <laughs> there's kiwis? 532146. Oh shit. That turkey has a prison code on him or something. Uh... I... I... What the fuck? <laughs> what am I looking at? What? I'm out. I'm already out. Oh no, not you again. I guess I should have th thought that Thanksgiving Rescue the Owl might be kind of like Thanksgiving re uh, Release the Turkey. Hello, owls. How do you do? 92nd Thanksgiving Rescue the Owl. I'm sorry, are there over 300 Thanksgiving Rescue games from this guy? Or people? Uh... Is this an escape room game? I'm looking at the little, like, look at that stuff. Like, look at colors and numbers. Like, weird and conspicuous... Weird codes that don't, like, match the surrounding environment and stuff. Like, it's, it looks like a lot of, like, budget escape rooms I've seen in real life. Where they just will have this nice thematic looking room, kind of, and then just... Weird, colorful code painted over something that doesn't fit at all. Did you make any of these assets yourself, though, or are they just stolen? Because none of this fits together. But, like... That looked good. That looks like a... That's a good piece of art right there. Look at... Look at how nicely... Art, look, look at that! Look at all the detail on that. But then there's that. And then this background's just a picture they found with a liquify painting texture uh, effect put on it. Weirdly, I can't click on this mining pick back here that seems like an important detail. Okay. Can I click on you? Huh. Well, that's a thing. I discovered a weird cottage industry. Thanksgiving rush. Why are you in such a rush? Is it because you are tired of being around your family and want to escape them so you can go to the Black Friday sales that are slowly encroaching upon every other part of the year? And so nobody actually wants to spend time with each other anymore because they need to make sure that all these employees can't visit their families because they have to go, you know, work on Thanksgiving. Thanks, corporate America. We're really knocking it out of the park. Is this just- this is just Bejeweled, slash Candy Crush, and so on, just with a few images that are Thanksgiving-ish. Is wine an especially Thanksgiving image, or is, it, is that something else? I'm like, okay, corn, there's a turkey, I guess feathers, vaguely... Is it- those aren't turkey feathers, though, are they? So is that like- is this supposed to be Native Americans? Because that's kind of iffy- oh, it's over. Oh, you have like a couple, you have like a minute. Let's see if I can beat 83. I can do this. I believe in me. Yeah. 
I believe I'm have not played one of these since that one time that I wanted to get further than Andrew and Candy Crush, which was I still blame Andrew because he was the one that was playing it. I was just, I just wanted to beat him at it, and I think I did, but mostly just because he probably realized why am I playing Candy Crush and stopped playing Candy Crush. The power of free games. My only vague strategy is to try to match. Well, I'll do match four if I see one, but. Mostly I just try to match stuff near the bottom because it causes chain reactions of things to move around. I got the same score! How did I do that? This one's called Thanksgiving Relative House Escape. Are we escaping our relatives? Is that what you're implying? It doesn't say top 100 games this time. So, you know, progress. KNF game. Thanksgiving Relative House Escape. KNF Thanksgiving Relative House Escape is the 79th escape game. Why are they make so many? Maybe you should make better ones. Imagine that you went to your relative house for Thanksgiving party. Yeah, imagine. Imagine that thing that I'll be doing when people are watching this video because I'll be at Thanksgiving. As party went for so long, you stayed in your relative house itself. Okay. When you woke up in morning, you found everyone left the house and door is locked. You need to escape from the relative house by finding useful objects, hints, and solving puzzle. The one puzzle. Okay. Click on the objects to interact with them and solve simple puzzles. Now there's more than one of them. Good luck and have fun playing free online escape games. Point and K click KNF escape games. That's... They just put it at the bottom there. But it is a comma, so that sentence wasn't over. So they finished the sentence by saying that. It wasn't just like the name of the company listed at the bottom. Hey, the, ar the art's cohesive. It looks like they actually drew it this time, maybe. Or at the least they didn't mix... A bunch of hand-drawn elements with a bunch of high-detail paintings with a mixture of processed photos. So that's good. Um, there's a burger. I'm sorry, you guys already had Thanksgiving and you- hang on. I, I, I'm gonna question the lore here. You said that you ha went to your relative's house for Thanksgiving and then you you stayed the night. So Thanksgiving already happened. So it's- it's the morning after Thanksgiving, it's the Black Friday. Which actually, yeah, the, the idea that everybody left the house Thanksgiving morning, and you're- and you're there alone, makes sense, actually, because everyone went, went rushing out for th for Black Friday, something that I have never gone to. I have carefully avoided that. I will- I'll sometimes do a Black Friday sale on the internet. I'll just order stuff at discounts, because they're there. I ain't going into that storm, though. You can't make me. Uh-uh. I don't care if TVs are cheaper. I don't even use- I don't even have a TV. I just use computer monitors as my TV anyway. Oh well. It's easy to do that when you're alone. Uh, there's a vase, there's a cheeseburger, there's apple slices, an entire table that has two apple slices next to a not sliced apple. I'm sorry, look at this- this is beautiful! Look at these drumsticks wrapped in lettuce. Look at this beautiful, incredible Thanksgiving feast that nobody ate yesterday. Hat. Pilgrim hat. Yay! Let's get a nice little pile of historical revisionism. i put you over here. Alright, I found that. This actually looks a- this is the same interface they use in, uh, in Rusty Lake and everything. Probably because it's just a popular escape room interface in general, I would guess. Where is that? Where am I? That was confusing. Oh, is it that over there? No. I clicked on this chair and got here. What? How do I play it? N-I-N-G-G-I Butter <laughs> uh, I, 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 Oh, it's, it's that. I'm clicking- it's that on the wall Why would that be on the wall? Dude, if my family threw an escape room party for me the day after Thanksgiving, I would lose my shit. That'd be great. This isn't, uh, this isn't a threat. This isn't bad. This is great news. I want an escape room party. V? I guess I put that there? I thought I had to solve this, but maybe I just need to find- Well, okay, I guess it's going- I guess there must have been a V up there, too. I was checking behind stuff. This is immediately more appealing than the last two. I rejected the idea of even trying to solve those ones because I hated looking at them. 
Oh my god. It makes computer sounds. Why does it make... Oh! Okay. This is a big color code. Yeah, that's not a puzzle. As in, like, you don't solve it there. You need to find stuff. We have a code over here. Uh... Do these also change when I click on them? No. Am I supposed to make these match those? Can I move them? Okay, those switch. Ah, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. So these change, and these change. How do I ch How do I change this weird conveyor here? What? Um... If it always- if clicking on this made it switch every time, and clicking on this made it switch every time, I'd be like, okay, cool, I get it. But I click on this one and it switches sometimes. And it just picks one to switch with. I'm like, that's really inconsistent implementation of puzzle mechanic. That's just confusing. Uh... Let's maybe start by trying to get the top one mostly correct. So like, boom, purple. That's good. That one's supposed to be that color, so boink. Bam. Got it. Cool. Uh, next up is supposed to be green, so let's move one over. Okay, green up there, if I can. There we go, green's up there. I have no idea what the rule is here for when it lets me move in it or not. Cool, so purple... Eh, sick color. Every flavor bean color. Green. Next is supposed to be red. That's easy to get to. There we go. After red is this blue. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on there. It just fights me for a bit, then stops fighting me. There we go. So now all of these are in the correct order. I don't think I have to reshuffle those ones, so I think I can just leave these in this order. But one of them's gonna have to be shuffled among here, because I'm gonna have to switch the order of these guys till they are correct. So right now pink is correct, but brown has to be over by one. So, let's figure that out. Let's start by switching brown to be up here. Oh right, since this holds onto one, I don't have to really switch with the top row anymore. Because I can just hold onto them here. That's not a big- that's not a big deal. So let's switch you with brown, or- there we go. Alright, so pink, brown. Now I need to switch blue. Good. Good. Alright, pink, brown, blue, that one. Okay. So black stays in the middle. Easy. I get a key. Isn't that nice? This is a this is a good Thanksgiving. I don't know what Thanksgiving has to do with escape games, but there's a lot of escape rooms about Thanksgiving for some reason. I don't understand why, but okay. This is alright. I can poke around on this. Alright, uh Ease. I reflexively think I'm gonna have to rearrange these things because that's what happens in Rusty Lake. I have no idea. <laughs> Pass in Sahel. Maybe it's blue, red, green, purple, teal. Blue, red, green, purple is not a color. Cool. Cool. It wasn't yellow, was it? It was purple? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's not one of the other options. Okay. 
Apple peels. There's just a key hanging out back there. Cool. Seriously, why a hamburger? Who makes hamburgers for Thanksgiving? And who makes one hamburger ever? I always I always see those it's like hot dogs. Like why would there be one hot dog? Like it's always a thing that people make in groups. We've already opened that. There's a creepy pumpkins back there. Uh, the pumpkins should have been gone a month ago. Uh, those should be those are probably rotten by now, but where are those pumpkins? They're all behind there. Where's the perspective of that? Where are they fitting? Green, red, yellow, blue, cyan. Aha! I got mistletoe or something now? Berries? That was that. That was the clue for that. TM. I don't know what's up with that. But there's TM over th or there's LM over there, and there's FAO over here. No YZ. That code is numbers. I can't look at this painting, which you'd think would be a clue, but I can't I can't look at the painting. I can look left. Hello, all new area I've never seen before. Ah. Well one of you goes here apparently. That there there specifically. Cool, got two of those already. Can't seem to solve these. Weird. Like, I can't move them around. Maybe you just need that many pegs. That's gonna take an eternity. Hi. Oh. Okay. Die, flower. Oh, the flower's still there. That was just on the flower. Cube? <laughs> I don't know what that is at all. I don't recognize what that is supposed to be. Cool. Three out of four. Scribbles, flower, <laughs> I don't know. This is chill. This is acceptable. Despite the name one top 100 games, this is clearly a superior uh, chain of, of, of Thanksgiving escape games. The top 100 needs to step it up. Maybe they, it's also really embarrassing to call your, get yourself top 100 games when you make hundreds of games. That means you inherently have many failures. Oh, the key goes there, but the other key doesn't go there. Did the key, were the keys, did they even look different? But now I can go up here. I got a whole new world ahead of, ahead of me. A, 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 Y, H, S, N. Okay. I know what that means. It's you. A, Y, H, S, N. Oh, they're in order. You don't need to re rearrange them. All right, red, purple, blue, green, teal. Red, purple. Green, uh, blue, green, teal? Was that it? Aha. Okay, we're collecting sunflowers of different colors. No! Oh, cool, there's a lot of... At least a lot of them are blank. Wait, how do I move them? Oh, you switch two of them with each other. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to do a sliding tile puzzle. But it's one of these. I don't know why I'm saying one of these as if this is an acceptable common... Wait, you can switch any of them with any of them? Maybe? Oh, you can... S wait. You can't switch any of them with any of them. It's just that you can switch them diagonally for some reason. What the fuck? All right, you know what? I'll, whatever. I'll just take it over the fact that I just had the, I had the, I had the fear for a moment of there where I, f I realized, oh no, a sliding tile puzzle, and that fear was wrong, and that makes me happy. I can't tell which which one I have selected and whether or whether not selected, so I keep m messing up. It's not very well implemented. But if I just click back and forth a lot, eventually it'll work out. I think it's because I'm clicking a little too early, so I'll be- the animation's still playing out, so it doesn't register at first. Ah. <sighs> Another hat. Is there a hat rack somewhere to put all the hats? That's where you guys all are. 
That's where you guys all are. Where did I see that before? Here. Why are those back there here? Like, that's not really a something I can solve, is it? Oh, hats. That makes sense. Ah! Oh no, their parents si- Ah, stop that! Ah. Shit. How do I... Scroll up. There we go. If you click a little too- If you click a little too high in- in their, uh... Scroll bar, it tries to open this link up here, which is very far from that arrow. Hmm. So I guess they're dead. That's the takeaway. When was this published? Uh, November 12th, 2016? 188 people have played it. This is an exclusive Let's Play. You've never seen this game covered on YouTube before. Because only- because less than 200 people have played it in the history of the world. So... Boom. Bringing you the exclusives, guys. Oh, hi. Uh... Hi. Have you guys considered being in the right ones instead of the wrong ones? Alright, so I need to find one more flower. I have to very- okay, all I have left is this weird thing that I still think is a bar of butter. Purple number, pink number? Looks like a robot when there's only two. Okay. Directions for those things. What? How do I play you? Do I just need to find the last two or something? I can't slide them around. You should be there. Also, that reminds me of Rusty Lake again. Don't have a key for that door. This is just a combination lock. You just have to know the answer. Okay. Um... I wasn't expecting to get this involved in one of the one of the games. <laughs> I'm like going for it, evidently. I've already solved that. And we've solved that. And that. I don't think I've seen a combination number anywhere. I think I've already looked at everything around here. Including the chair that takes me here for some reason. Vignin. Yeah, well-known thing. But sir, what do I do with the butter? I have no idea what some of these things are. What is this? What is that? I've got so many questions. Hmm, that could be a password. Five green, four red, four yellow, I don't know, could be. Sometimes it is. Somebody just framed a leaf, I guess? I might be at a bit of a dead end, where nothing makes sense anymore. Oh, he's happy. Just put the butter in the door, that'll open it. If that is butter. If that is your real name. You gave me something when I solved you, right? So that's not it. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. Probably missing something. That's probably enough for now. Oh my god. Uh, I hit full screen on the Oregon Trail website and it did this. Uh, hi. I mean, and yeah, it seemed like a logical thing, right? Let's play Oregon Trail. But I wasn't... <laughs> what have we done? The Oregon Trail. You may travel the trail, learn about the trail, see the Oregon Top 10, turn sound off. <laughs> okay. Choose management options and end. What is your choice? Travel the trail? Cool, now it's full screen, but too full screen. It's not fitting on the screen. Many kinds of people made the trip to the Oregon. You can be a banker from Boston, a carpenter from Ohio, a farmer from Illinois, 
find out the differences between these choices. Nah, I don't need time. I got time for differences. I'm gonna be a carpenter from Ohio. This doesn't seem very full screen to me. What is the first name of the wagon leader? Uh, Leroy. What are the first names of the other four members in your party? Uh, just any numbers of party members? Okay. Uh, red shirt. Uh, peon. And cannon fodder. Cannon fod. Alright, that's a good name. And... Is the rest off my screen? Are these names- ah, shit. I- I had to leave full screen, because I, I couldn't fit see the rest. No. Change which name? Five. I need a new- I need a new- I need a new one. I got Leroy, Red Sheet, Red Shirts, Peon, Cannon Fodder, uh... Uh... Carmine. There we go. I got it. Yes. These are names crap. I've never I don't know if I've ever played Oregon Trail. I think I have. I think we used to have a bunch of a bunch of different games in I think we had Oregon Trail and Carmen San Diego and stuff like that when I was in preschool, which would have been when I was like four. I don't think I understood this game. It is 1848. You're jumping off. That's improper language uh grammar right there. Oh wait, no, it is your jumping off place. No, never mind, it is correct grammar. I thought I was saying you are you are jumping off because I'm stupid. Uh, for your jumping off place for Oregon is Independence, Missouri. You must. That's not. That's not Oregon. That's not Oregon. You must decide which month to leave Independence. Uh, as far away from winter as possible is what I would say. So March. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $800 in cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. But I can. You can buy whatever you need at Matt's General Store. Hello, I'm Matt. So, you're going to Oregon. I can fix you up with what you need. A team of oxen to pull your wagon. Clothing for both summer and winter. Plenty of food. Ammunition for your rifles. Spare parts for your wagon. K. Okay. How much, so what, which item would you like to buy? Why does it say zero next to everything? Let's buy clothing. You'll need warm clothing in the mountains. I recommend taking at least two sets of clothing per person. Each set is $100. How many sets of clothes would you like to buy? So I guess 10. That's already $100. Let's do it though. We need food, obviously. I recommend you take at least 200 pounds of food for each person in your family. I see that you have five people in all. You'll need flour, sugar, bacon, and coffee. My price is 20 cents a pound. How many pounds of food would you want? 1,000 pounds. Somehow I get the feeling that this isn't going to work out mathematically. Let's take some oxen with us. There are two oxen and a yoke. I recommend at least three yoke. I charge 40 a yoke. Why do you sell them in pairs, I guess? Okay. Let's buy three yoke. Cool. Then ammunition. How many engines we gotta fight? I sell ammunition in boxes of 20 bullets. Each box costs one. That's He doesn't have a recommendation. Zero. Spare parts. It's a good idea to have a few spare parts of your wagon. Here are the prices. Those three things. Cool. How many wagon wheels would you like? Four. Your wagon may only carry three wagon wheels. Seems like a design flaw given how many wheels that actually has. Cool. Three. How many axles? 100. Or one is all I could type actually. How many wagon tongues? Two. Ammunition. Each box is by 100 box. I can't buy 100 boxes. All right, 10 boxes. I was able to buy everything I wanted. That was weird. Let's buy more food. I would like to buy 200 pounds of bonus food. You know, just in case. Uh, my price went down. Whoops. 1,200. There we go. I had to re-enter the number. 
Cool. Can't wait to find out how not having enough money totally screws me or something. Uh, well then, you're ready to start. Good luck. You have a long and difficult journey ahead of you. There's audio! I was wondering if there was gonna be audio. We're doing this song, huh? Ow. I want to point out what's really bizarre about music this old in a video game. Uh, I'm looking at my desktop audio volume indicator on OBS and like in every game and every person and every source of audio ever the indicator normally moves like up and down a bit, you know what I mean? Because that's what sound is like. You know what the dynamic range is of this audio? Nothing. It's one continuous volume, inescapably, even though it's playing different notes. It's all one continuous level. The volume indicator is not moving at all. It's bizarre. I've literally never seen that before. It usually means something is horribly wrong. The weather is cold, the health is good, pace is steady, your rations are filling. Alright, uh... Let's change pace, let's fucking book it! Steady pace, center, grueling... Find out this uh, fucking grueling, go for it! We're gonna- we're running for it. Yeah. Uh, let's talk to people. A traveler, Miles Hendricks, tells you, Did you read the Missouri Republican today? Says some folks start for the- Start for Oregon without carrying spare parts, not even extra uh, wagon axle. Must think they grow on trees. Hope they're lucky enough to find an abandoned wagon. Well, thank you for explaining video game mechanics to me. Let's go. From Independence, it is 120, 102 miles to Kansas River Crossing. Go. Pre press enter to size up the situation, it says. What happens if you just hit that river? What's going to happen? You are now at the Kansas River Crossing. Oh, that was that was quick. Uh, would you like to look around? Okay. Enter. Space bar. Oh, yes. It would be a pleasant little melody if it wasn't kind of ear-wrenching. Attempt to trade? With who? Your supplies. You, mu you, mu you meet another immigrant who wants one ox. She will trade you one set of clothing. Nah, I need, I need, I need my, I need my oxes. I need them. They're important. Uh, not much going on here, is there? Let's stop to rest. Right? Our health is good. Face. Nah, fuck it. Go. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 647 feet across. And 7.3 feet deep in the middle. That's very deep. Very deep if you t want to talk about just... Like, like the idea of just going across. We can try attempt to ford the river. Or we can caulk the wagon and float it across. We can take a ferry across. Or wait to see if conditions improve. Why would the we? I guess the river would just have to get not deep anymore. I'm gonna take a ferry across if I can. I got money, and caulking the wagon and hoping sounds like a bad idea. The ferry operator says that he will charge you five dollars and that you will have to wait two days. Yes, that's not very much money. I don't know how long Oregon Trail is though at all. So who knows? Trying to start it at the end of a let's try is probably not the the smartest uh, scheduling plan for me today, but hey, the ferry got your party and wagon safely across. Cool. From Kansas River Crossing, it is 82 miles to Big Blue River Crossing. I don't know where these places are, so I'm just gonna accept- Oh, I lost four days for going the wrong trail. That's not good. Uh, let's press enter to size up the situation. Let's look at the map. 
Do I need to tell you where to go? Were you being stupid and not going the right way? So that's the finishing line. There's the starting line. Where am I right now? Am I just how far the dotted line is currently solid right now? I think it is. Yeah, your route. So we're here. Cool. Continue on trail. I don't think I even say where to go. I think that was just a random chance that was bad. Doop -a doop -a doop -a doop -a doop. Doop -a doop -a doop -a doop -a doop. You are now at blue, Big Blue River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Okay. It can't be that much river. Look how deep they already are. They're halfway across. Uh, talk to people. Big Louie, a, a trail driver, tells you, Be careful you don't push those animals too hard. Keep moving, but set them at a fair pace. Can't keep driving them so fast you'll end up with the lame-footed animals. A lame ox is about as good to you as a dead one. Yeah, but on the other hand, I could just keep going and, um... <laughs> I'm gonna stop to rest for a second. Let's rest for one day. Yay. Everyone's good now. Now book it. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently uh, that much and that much. Uh, there's no person, so nobody can get help you get across. Let's get more information. To ford a river means to pull your wagon across a shallow part of the river with, with the oxen still attached. Like, uh, to caulk the wagon means to seal it so that the one water can get in. The water can then, wagon can then be floated across like a boat. To use a ferry means to put your wagon on top of a flat a boat that belongs to someone else. The owner of the ferry will take your wagon across the river. I mean, it's only 4.7D. Let's just ford it, right? Please don't drown the oxen. Ugh. The river is too deep with the ford. You lose two sets of clothing, 42 bullets to... Uh, one wagon axle? An entire axle? And three oxen? And peon drowned. Alright, 4.7 feet is deeper compared to uh, a wagon than I thought it was. I thought wagons were taller. I guess oxen's heads might not be that high up, though. Whoops. We're gonna have fun today. <laughs> From the Big Blue River crossing, it's 118 miles to Fort Kearney. I, uh, well... One person's dead. I guess we... No, we I, I, no one told me they couldn't swim. That was important information to, to communicate sooner in the process. You are now at Fort Kearney. Would you like to look around? Yes. They really tried. <laughs> uh, I already lost a person. Well, the food's gonna last longer. I think I lost more person than the food's worth of persons and whatnot, so that's good. Let's buy some supplies. Let's buy oxen. Five of them. All right. Uh, clothing, ammunition, other shit, wagon axles. Let's buy an extra wagon axle. Two of them. There we go, now I got those. Uh, let's leave. I think I'm good overall. We're healthy. We got one less person to feed, so we got an advantage. I just have more oxen than I started with. Fucking go for it. Uh, let's talk to people. A fort soldier tells you the trail from jumping off from the jumping off places in Dependent Street, Joseph Council Bluffs, comes together at Fort Kearney. This new fort was built in the, by U.S. Army to protect those bound for California and Oregon. That's where I am right now, right? So, if I look at the map, all the different places you can start from different campaigns, they'll meet here. Okay. Go. Severe blizzard, lose one day. You can't tell me what to do. We just need to defeat the blizzard. We have winter clothing, after all. Look at him go. And I'm just kind of pit paddling it along. Severe blizzard, lose one day. In March? Oh yeah, 
No. Wait, no? Yes? March might... I think March is on the tail end of winter. I don't know. I don't think about wind. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't think about uh, a snow. I'm from California. It doesn't happen. Cannon fought his fever. Oh, no. Stop sucking? Have you considered not sucking? You are now at Chimney Rock. Would you like to look around? Uh, yeah. Let's see if they have fever meds. I'm guessing not, because it's a rock. Da -da 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 Alonzo Delano, that's a hell of a name, tells you, About noon yesterday we came in sight of Chimney Rock, looking up in the distance like the lofty tower of some town. We did not tire gazing on it. It was about 20 miles from us, and we stayed in sight until we reached it today. Uh, let's trade. None of those things help me feed people. Uh, you meet another emigrant who wants three wagon wheels. She will trade you one ox. No. Uh, change food rations, change part. Nah. Let's stop to rest for two days. Health is fair. There we go. Back to booking it. I fixed my stupid person that... Oh. See, I was thinking he, uh, I was thinking when he said health fair, you meant that he got over his fever, but instead he just died of his fever. See, it's a common mistake. All right, we're down two out of five people already. That was fast. You pass a gravesite. Would you like to look closer? No, spooky ghosts. You are now at Fort Lamer Lam Laramie. Would you like to look around? No, spooky ghosts. From Fort Laramie, it is 190 miles to Independence Rock. Cool. Just watch this little guy redshirt as fever. You guys stop dying. They warned me that if I go too fast, the ox might get worn out. But instead, it's my stupid people that are getting worn out. Why do you guys suck? I'm feeding you guys fully. And all you guys do is ride on a wagon. Why are you, why are you all dying? Who are you getting fever from? You're now at Independence Rock. Let's look at Independence Rock. They did not correctly draw this meandering lake, meandering stream. The outside of the curve is supposed to be, uh, is supposed to be a deep cut, which is what it is, but the inside of the curve is supposed to be shallow and gradual, not a harsh cut. That's how meandering uh, streams work. Not geologically accurate. Boing. No one wants to trade with you today. <laughs> uh, thanks, everybody. Um, talk to people. Aunt Rebecca Sims tells you. You're right, you are my aunt. No butter or cheese or fresh fruit since Fort Laramie. Bless me, but I'd rather have my larder full of food back east than have my our names carved in that rock. Well, tis a sight more cheery than all the graves we passed. Oh, that was my last chance to buy food, apparently. I'm sure that'll turn out just fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. How far are we? We're pretty far. It's not a very long game. Uh, let's just go back to booking it then. No, let's let's rest. Whenever I get to a landmark, I'll be like, hey, you guys, let's rest a little bit. Here's three days. Uh, get over your fucking fever or I'll... From Independence Rock, it's 102 miles. Cool. Uh, I wasn't told that he died, so I guess he's probably fine. His health's fair. We're burning through those food supplies, ain't we? That's not a good sign. Should we be burning through it less because we have so many f more people? You are now at South Pass. Would you like to look around? Yes. We've encountered the natives. A young girl tells you, My father is very sick and we are resting here until he gets better. I'm explaining video game mechanics to you. They understood this all the way back then. We have been pushing too hard, and our health has suffered. When my father is able to tra travel again, we will go to a at a slower pace. 
I find this really interesting. This game came out, it actually says at the bottom of the screen, I can see under under the flash window, it says, Oregon Trail is a computer game developed by Don Rosich and Bill Heinemann and Paul Dillenberger in 1971. God damn, this game is 20 years older than I am. And it has like really coherent explanation of its mechanics going on throughout and like they're using storytelling and characters at, at, at milestones to explain mechanics to you while also uh, having all these little like a unique song for each scene, a, a crafted little pixel art image for each location, a cool dynamic map and so on. Like this is actually shockingly impressive. And I was not ready to find out that it was... Uh, oh... This game is about to be 50 years old. This game's about to be 50 years old. <laughs> Jesus. Nothing in that nothing in that range of age is uh, is something I'm used to seeing being this playable. That's astonishing. All right, how are we doing? Look at us, we're at South Pass. All right. Uh uh let's change my food rations. I think I think we're eating them too fast. Small but adequate. There we go. Back on the trail. The trail divides. You may go to Green River Crossing or Fort Bridger. All right, let's go to the map. Uh, so we need to cross the river or go to Fort Bridger. Fort Bridger seems so out of the way, though. Let's go make a mistake. Green River Crossing. 57 miles. The wagon, who broke the wagon tongue? Should we, would you like to, yeah, let's repair it. You're unable to repair the broken wagon tongue. You must replace it with a spare part. Okie dokie. Cool. I bought more of them, so that's fine. You are now at Green River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Yes. A Shoshone Indian tells you, Indian really, uh, when wagons first started coming through here, we did not mind. We even found it good to trade game and fish with the travelers and help them cross the rivers. Now there are too many white men and too little land for grazing. Oh, look how progressive we are. <laughs> that description's all accurate, but then they called them Indians. They're not... Indians, they're not from India. You ha you know that. We all know that. Like we arrived, we're like, oh look, Indians are work. We're not Indians. Nah, you're Indians. And then we just called them Indians for several hundred years. Uh which is very confusing because there's India, a country that's larger than we are in both I don't know if it is larger in landmass actually, but it's definitely larger in population by like Stacking ourselves several times and all that. Uh, let's stop to rest for a couple days. One day. Probably resting too much, actually. These places are really close together. Let's just go. Or let's, let's trade. You mean another emigrant who wants to, uh, one set of clothing? That's a lot of bullets for a set of clothing. How many cl I have too many sets of clothing, so let's do that. Yes, I would like a ton of bullets. Cool, because I have all my people, I have, I have two dead people, so I don't need their clothing. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is 401 feet across, 20 feet deep. Yeah, we'll ford it. It'll be easy. Now let's take a ferry across. How expensive could it be? Five dollars in four days. Shit, I should, why did I rest then? Sure. It's only April. How bad could it go, right? The mountains take me three years to cross. Uh, I would not be looking forward to the Sierra Nevadas. We got across safely. The Green River Crossing is 143 miles to Soda Springs. Wait, uh, how, wait, wait, wait. How close are we? Uh, look at the map. Soda Springs. It's probably a coincidence. There's a there's a more local Soda Springs. I think isn't there a Soda Springs around Tahoe? I was like, how the hell am I that close already? Uh, health, fair, rations, meager, everything's fine. Inadequate grass. You find an abandoned wagon with the following. Bunch of shit. Cool. Very little water. Red shirt has a fever. 
shit. Ox wanders off. Lose two days. <laughs> At least we still have him. All right, let's uh, let's change pace to a strenuous pace. I feel like we might be getting in trouble soon if we go too fast. If there's apparently lacking water and uh, grass, which we need to feed our stupid mammals. That food is not lasting. Do like to look around? Yes. That's neat. Celinda Hines tells you, My, the Soda Springs are so pretty. Seems to spout at regular intervals. Felt good to just rest and not be jostled in the wagon all day. When I get to Oregon, I'll have a, a soft feather bed and never sleep in a wagon again. No, you're not going to make it to Oregon. You're going to die and your family's going to eat you. That's how this, this, like, this kind of goes. Hate to break it to you. <laughs> Seven. Uh, they want a wagon axle, and they'll send me- No, I don't want- I don't want clothes. You know how many dead people I have already? We're fine. I don't need no- I don't need no clothes. I guess we'll just go back to booking it. 57 miles! That's not even that far. But it is for a, a wagon, apparently. Severe thunderstorm. Man, the American Midwest is full of all sorts of unpredictable nature. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. I keep pressing enter instead of spacebar to continue. Holy crap. That's a lot of thunderstorm. We are now at Fort Hall. Let's take a look. Is that skip to, the, is that skip to my loo, my darling? Attempt to trade. They want a wagon wheel. Wants no. I, I want to trade for food. Uh, talk to people. Fellow traveler tells you Fort Hall is a busy fort. The wide stretches of meadow grass here just want to, are just what our tired animals need. As for me, I'll fix up the wagon leaks. Amanda's real anxious to wash out all the clothes and linens in one of those clear streams. All right. Uh, I should probably buy more food. I'm getting a little more worried that we might need more. Let's see. Seven. How many pounds of food? Let's see. 100 pounds! There we go. Uh, let's do another 100. Boom. I'm running out of money now. But, you know, I was worried that we might starve. Back on the road. 182 miles. Gonna have to watch this little guy shimmy sham along for a bit. He'll be fine. After all, we have 200 more pounds of food. That means we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. Oh no, another river. Can they stop happening, please? Why is water always gotta go places on flat surfaces? Impassable trail. We're now at Snake River Crossing. Would you like to go look around? Yerp. White men go this way. A frantic wife tells you, it says right here in the chivalry guidebook, you must hire an Indian to pilot you at the cross crossings of Snake River. It'd be dangerous if not perfectly understood. But my husband insists on crossing without a guide. Oh no, should not have gotten rid of my money, should I? Oh boy. Attempt to trade. You mean another immigrant wants one set of clothing, he'll trade you 22 pounds of food. Yes. Gotta get rid of the, all these excess clothing of all these dead people that conveniently died without their clothes going with them when they died. That's impressive. Uh, one of them was lost at a river. <laughs> but I guess they drowned in the wagon, which is even more confusing. They were in the wagon and they, and they managed to drown. How did they do that? How's that map looking? Look at that! 
Look how far we're making it. Let's go. I don't know how to hire an Indian. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is very fucking deep. Uh, hire an Indian to help? How much does that cost? A Shoshone guy says that he will take your wagon across the river in exchange for three sets of clothing. Oh, shit. I've been trading off my clothing. Not great news. But I think I'll do it. Also, someone should tell the Shoshone that it's like, that's the that's dangerous. That's how you get SARS and whatnot. Is that that's how you start getting diseases from the, the white guys. That's not that's not a good process trading clothing. But I guess you don't have value for our money. Although you could probably know you could use the money on us to get food and whatnot. And other resources. And maybe not used clothing. Uh, also, hey, you could call them the Shoshone in all the other times too. Or whatever tribe they're from and not Indians. Pro tip. They'll help me float across the wagon, alright? What did he do? Wave his hands? Like, what did he actually do to get us across the river? It didn't explain. Because they're mystical? Because... Organ Trail? Is that what we're implying? Ah, oh, wild fruit. They'll just get added to my... Uh, Retro does a broken... How, how'd you break your arm? Don't do that. <laughs> Retro has a broken leg, what the fuck? <laughs> Rough trail. None of my ox have been endangered. You said the ox would be the ones that'd be attacked by us going like this, but it's my freaking idiots that are all dying. He broke his arm and his leg. How did he even do that? You're now at Fort Boys. Would you like to look around? Okay. Is that a baby? I feel like the implication here is that the baby's father is that ox. <laughs> like, that's the... <laughs> Spice supplies, I'm running out of money. It's fine, because I'm also running out of problems, ha! Huh? <laughs> because they keep dying. Uh, Jacob Hofstetter tells you, Every night, even though I ache from the day's toils, my head is filled with dreams of the rich farmland in the Willamette Valley. I will build myself a fine, handsome homestead. And I'm certain I'll be rich within five years. Alright. It's good to tell yourself that, I guess. Uh, keep it on the trail. Let's keep going. Never resting. Never resting. From Fort Boys, it's 160 miles to the Blue Mountains. Ox wandered off. Lose, lose three days. Thanks, Ox. Thanks for that. Oh! We lost a wagon tongue. Let's repair it. But we suck. But thankfully we have excess parts, so we're good. What's going on? Am I in trouble? Oh, am I out of wagon tongues? Am I in trouble? Oh no, that was my last one that was used just now. I just accidentally pressed enter, which, enter, which opened up the other menu. I'm running out of wagon tongues. If I run out of that, we just lose, I think. Or we walk. So we lose, which means we lose. Like, we will not survive. So, GG. We've traveled 1,600 miles. Redshirt died! Oh, that's three people down. Carmine has cholera. Ah. It's a really anticlimactic way for him to die in the fifth Gears of War game. Got a lot of food for th two people. Uh, you are now at the Blue Mountains. Would you like to look around? Sure. It's worth noting that the amount of money I have, right, uh, food right I have right now is the stuff I bought afterwards. A tired overlander tells you, since crossing the snake at Fort Boys, it's, it's been just mountains and desert. Dust deeper each day. Six inches at times. No tracks, just clouds of dust. Many cattle choked on dust after swimming in the forest, then bled and died. There's so much dust that the cattle just die. Yeah. Yeah. Trade? They want a set of clothing, and they'll give me 97 bullets. I do have an excess of clothing. I should probably start hunting soon. I'm gonna, I'm not, don't really have any food left, so let's do that. Stop and rest, change pace, check for supplies, other stuff. Uh, no, let's keep, go uh... 
Oops. Strenuous. Oh shit. Uh I'm I pressed the wrong buttons. Uh change pace for strenuous, yes. Uh stop to rest. Let's do that for three days. That did not improve their health. Cool. Go back on the trail. Oh shit. Fort Walla Walla or the Dale the Dallas. The Dallas Dales. The Dales is the straight line. We're almost there. We're almost fucking there. I don't need to hunt. I got 200 pounds of food and indestructible ox that never take any damage except for the time that I lost three in a river. <laughs> I mean, it just said I lost them. It didn't say they died. It's just they, they're not here anymore. You know, it's fine. Am I about to beat Oregon Trail? Carmine has a broken leg. You stupid fuck. You already have cholera. How did cholera break your leg? You are now at the Dells. Would you like to look around? Yes. A toll collector tells you, I collect the tolls for the Barlow Road. A bargain at twice the price. And until last year, the Overlander had no choice. Everyone floated the Columbia. Now, Mr... With Mr. Barlow's new road, you can drive your wagon right into Oregon City. Oh shit, how much does that cost? That's not good. Trade? One set of clothing, just give me bullets. No, I need my clothing. I was supposed to keep, I was supposed to have two sets of clothing per person. And Carmine's not dead yet, sorry, he didn't die yet, so no trade for you. Let's take the Barlow road, how much does that cost? You must pay nine dollars. Yes, I have that. I have like one dollar left, right? Uh, supplies. That's not supplies. Look how close we are to Oregon City. We're about to win this fucking game. Look at me. I have $11 left. <laughs> I didn't think we'd make it this far. I thought this episode was going to be shorter than this, to be honest. <laughs> Wrong trail. Lose four days. That's fine. Everything's fine. Congratulations, you made it to Oregon! Let's see how many points you have received. So I was- the funny thing is I was gonna- this is my one little thing I was doing for Thanksgiving. I was canceling everything else to intentionally reduce my workload, you know, because Thanksgiving. <laughs> Being, getting a little contradicted by the fact that <laughs> this took so long, it might be two videos. The, the Thanksgiving- I might do all the other videos together and then Oregon Trail is its own separate thing. And... It's, it's like, I- that's pr that's halfway to just being back at the amount of videos I would have made otherwise if I just didn't stop stuff for Thanksgiving. Good job, me. I'm good at managing things. That is the that is the trap, though, right? When on the one hand you're like, "Hey, I want to take a vacation for Thanksgiving," and on the other hand you're like, "I want to do something special for Thanksgiving." These are contradictory goals. But hey, Oregon Trail. Evidently, I got uh, 916 points for going as a carpenter. Your points were doubled. What does that mean? Also, I never used my bullets. <laughs> my bullets gave me seven points. That's not even worth anything. <laughs> yeah, all your points are- yeah, your, your point count is primarily based on how many people survive. Which is two, which is not good. That's funny though. I had such an excess of bullets, never used any of them. I, I've never played this game before. Uh, the oxen are alive, so uh, like a bunch of oxen are gonna have a nice enjoyable life and California now. I mean, Oregon, sorry. So that, that's neat, right? Oh, there's my doubled points. Neat. Yeah, I didn't, uh... That's interesting. Apparently, I, I must have played on a higher, higher difficulty on that level. The Oregon Top 10. Congratulations! Type your name as you would like to see it on the Oregon Top 10 list. Boom, there I am. Jiffer Lawson three times. Are these real? 
Raiding Trail Guide Adventurer Greenhorn. Are these real people? Or are these is this the original leaderboard? I don't know if this is the leaderboard that's built into the game or if this is an online leaderboard because this is on a website. Either way, hey, top 10, guys. Would you like to make any changes? No. Never. Well, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Mm -hmm.